Hi there, sometimes in DaVinci Resolve when you're editing the audio settings, you want to find the perfect setting. You wanna find what sounds great, but you don't wanna lose what you've already set up. In this video, I'm gonna show you a super simple way, and it's almost kind of like a hidden feature in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight, where you can play with different settings and see how they sound. Let's head into Resolve and we'll switch over to the Fairlight page. Let's say we want to do this for the EQ effect. You can use what I'm about to show you in lots of different effects in DaVinci Resolve. It's not limited to just the EQ effect. So you can see here I've made some changes to this EQ and then we can play this back. On the transmitter by holding in the power button until... And we might make some more tweaks. And we might get to a point where we're really happy with it, but we're not quite sure maybe about a few of the little bits of the details of the settings. So what I'm about to show you is super, super cool. At the top here, you've got this really, it's kind of almost unnoticeable. We've got this A and this B. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to audition different versions of the settings for an effect. If I click on B, we've now enabled version B of the settings for this plugin. So I'm gonna make some quite drastic changes here just so you can see visually what's happening and we can play those back. With your DJI Neo, the first... And the great thing is now we can quickly switch between the two versions of settings to see how they sound, even when we're playing back. If I click on A, we get this version of the settings. And if I click on B, we get this version. Let's start off with A and I'll switch halfway through playback. To use your DJI Mic Mini with your DJI Neo, the first thing you need to do is pair. I've also got one more quick tip for you when you're using this. You've got this little arrow here in the middle and this will allow you to copy the settings to the other setup. So if we wanna copy settings from this B EQ settings to A, we just click this button and if we switch back to A, they're now identical. And you'll see this in loads of different DaVinci Resolve effects. Here's the dynamics, here's the voice isolator. So wherever you see that A and the B, it's a really great way to quickly audition two sets of settings for an effect. Don't forget to check out my DaVinci Resolve Fairlight training course with the first link in the description. I'm Jason Roberts, and you might wanna check out this video next, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.